Assalamualaikum and hello everyone. How are you? I hope everyone is doing fine. My name is Miss Ain. Today, I'm going to share with all of you, especially teachers out there, one of the online tools for teaching and learning. You may have heard it before, but those who haven't heard it, you may use this during online teaching and learning. There are many other online tools. For example, we have Kahoot, we have Quizzes, we have what else do we have? Google Form, as usual, right? So if you want to make it more interactive, you may want to watch this video till the end. I hope it helps all the teachers and educators out there during this hard time. And in this video, I'll be speaking in Bahasa Melayu because I want everyone to get benefit. Not only English teachers, science, Bahasa Melayu, maths, and all other subjects can use this site to help you in having a fun and interactive lesson. Without wasting any time, let's go into it. So in case you're wondering what website am I referring to, it is called wordwall.net. Some of you might have heard it, some of you might um, pernah dengar tapi tak tahu apa tu wordwall, susah ke? No, it's actually very easy, very user-friendly, very fun and it, make, it can make your online teaching and learning a bit more interesting than usual plain Google form. So today, I'm going to show you what you need to do is just type in wordwall.net and you will be directed to this page so on this very first page you can see the how to's i'm supposed to speak in bahasa melayu right okay sorry jom kita cakap bahasa melayu okay dekat muka surat depan anda boleh nampak cara-cara untuk buat resources pick a template enter your content and print out or share it with your students and then there's also examples from our community boleh tengok examples yang kita nak Okay, you can search for public activities, you can explore it. Dan juga, uh, anda boleh nampak template-templates uh, yang dia ada. Tengok, ada quiz, ada group sort, missing word dan macam-macam lagi lah. Sekejap lagi kita tengok. First thing first, before I show you how to sign up and what not, kita tengok press plan. Ada kena bayar ke Miss Ain? Actually, dia ada free version and also a paid version. So, yang free version, limited lah. Contoh, kalau free, dia akan dapat 18 templates. Printable, 15. But, kalau basic yang free, anda boleh buat 5 resources saja, 5 bahan saja. Okay? Uh, kalau nak cuba dulu, yes, go for basic free. Cuba dulu, apa bahan-bahan yang boleh buat. Boleh buat quiz, boleh buat group sort. 5 lah, pilih 5 yang paling menarik. Tetapi, kalau bayar sikit, RM10 saja uh, Atau RM15 per month for pro. Uh, anda boleh dapat lebih lagi lah. Okey, katakan standard anda masih dapat 18 templates. Kalau pro, ada 33 templates. Lebih lagi ialah macam ada balloon pop, uh, ada apa spider diagram and what not. Okey, boleh tengok dekat sini. Dan yang paling penting sekali kalau kita bayar RM10 atau RM15, uh, boleh buat resources uh, sampai muntah. <laughs> Unlimited. Okey, so personally I'm using this RM10 plan per month. Okay, dan sangat-sangat berpuas hati. It's the best investment for me because uh, I've, I'm using it for my pupils. I'm using it for my online teaching and learning. Okay. So, yeah. Kalau nak baca uh, FAQs, boleh baca dekat bawah sini. Okay. So, first thing you need to do is to sign up. Siapa yang tak ada account wordwall.net lagi, boleh sign up. Tekan saja sign up. Then you will be directed to this page. Yang paling senang sekali, just sign in with Google because most of us have a Google account. So, tekan saja sign in with Google. It will be directed to your um, account. Okay, kalau tak ada, um, biasalah email address, password, confirm password dan sign up. Okay, lepas dah sign in, you will be directed to this page. Okay, so ini ialah aktiviti yang saya dah buat lah. Saya cakap boleh buat sampai termuntah. Alright, uh, sebab dia unlimited. So, siapa yang first timer, 
tak ada account lagi This would be empty uh, Hari ini kita buat yang basic sekali Okay ada beberapa cara untuk kita create resources Atau kita pun boleh adopt and adapt from other users yang dah buat Kemudian dia beri kebenaran untuk share Macam mana okay Saya akan ajar macam mana kalau kita nak ambil daripada orang lain dulu ya Senang saja. tengok dekat atas ni kita ada Home, Features, Community, My Activities, My Result, Create Activity dan kita punya profile. So, boleh pergi ke My Community dulu. Oh sorry, pergi ke Community tab. Okay, dan search. Katakanlah kita guru bahasa Inggeris, kita nak uh, past tense. Okay, keluarlah apa jua yang berkaitan dengan past tense. Ada much. So, katakanlah kita nak guna yang ni, missing words. Ah, review dulu kan dan tekan start Ok review tu tengok apa soalan ni Oh menarik juga ni Kalau kita nak gunakan bahan ini untuk berikan kepada anak murid kita Macam mana caranya Senang sahaja Pergi ke button share di bawah ni Pilih my students Kemudian ok ini assignment setup Boleh buat title yang lain atau biarkan saja pun boleh tak ada masalah And then registration sama ada enter name atau anonymous. Usually I will ask them to enter their name so that we can track. And then deadline kalau ada deadline. And then this is the option kalau end of game apa yang kita nak tunjuk. Show answers, leaderboard, start again. Leaderboard ni siapa dapat nombor 1, 2, 3. Alright, tunjuk. And then start again ni kalau nak murid jawab sekali je, antik dia. Kalau nak murid jawab sampai termuntah, boleh start again. Okay, and then start. Ha, all done. So, ada beberapa cara. First kali, give this link to your student. Kalau nak bagi melalui WhatsApp, the simplest way bagi kat WhatsApp kan, copy this link dan terus paste kan dalam group WhatsApp. And then you can also em, you can also share or embed it Facebook, uh, Twitter and then Google Classroom which is very, very useful. And then email, email orang tak guna dah rasanya. Cara kedua, kita nak embed dalam Google Classroom. Senang saja, tekan ke Google Classroom. Dia akan direct kepada kita punya Google Classroom lah. Okay, choose kelas yang kita nak share. Contohnya, kelas year 4. Choose actions. Let ada create assignment, ask question, make an announcement, create material. Usually, I will choose create assignment and then tekan go. Okay, dia akan direct kepada kita punya Google Classroom. Okay, uh, title. Apa? Past tense quiz. Ans the instruction, answer the questions. Alright. So, dia dah embed dah. Dia punya link kat sini. So, apa kena buat? Tengok dekat sini. Uh, okay. Ini semua option-option yang ada lah. Point, due date, due date tak, topic. And then, kalau dah, kalau tak ada due date ke apa semua, tekan assign sahaja. Dan, siap. Suruh murid-murid buka sahaja Google Classroom dan attempt the questions. Okay. Ini ialah part yang paling menarik sekali ialah where you can create your own activity. Tekan sahaja button yang warna biru ini create activity dan ini adalah the 18 templates yang kita boleh guna. Okay personally yang saya paling suka would be quiz, group sort, unjumble. Actually semualah saya guna. Untuk sesi hari ini saya akan tunjuk part interactive ni. Okay macam mana nak buat, macam mana nak share dan mungkin saya tak buat semua. Cikgu-cikgu boleh explore sendiri. Saya akan share beberapa yang menarik. As I said, it's very simple. It's very um, straightforward and user-friendly. Okay, jom kita try. Contoh ya, word search. Bagi tajuk. Contohnya, subjects. Ini untuk year 4 uh, CFR lesson. Kita letaklah. Mathematics, English. Type saja. Science. Art Pendidikan Islam ha, Ni contoh saja Okay so Buatlah beberapa Sepuluh ha, Dia ada minimum Tiga Maksimum dua puluh lima Dan Okay dia akan keluar Macam ini Okay um, Actually Okay start dulu ha, Banyak ni kan Tap a hidden word Senang saja Okay so Selain daripada ini Cikgu-cikgu juga boleh Tukar tag team dia Ada beberapa team Pilih saja dekat bawah ni. Tukar ada primary, ada neon. Okey, tengok eh. Kalau saya pilih neon, ha, dia jadi macam tu. Katakanlah saya nak pilih blackboard. Ha, macam tu pula. 
Alright and then boleh tukar option juga. Option ada timer ke tak ada timer ke. Lives, difficulty. Ada reverse diagonal words or display words to find. Ha, ini kalau kita nak display words to find. And then apply to this activity. Tadi kita pilih lain sikit kan. Alright. So based on that, murid-murid kena cari perkataan-perkataan ni dekat sini. Oh menarik kan? Okey katakanlah. Alamak lima sikit sangat lah. Macam nak tambah sikit. Boleh tak ada masalah. Pergi sahaja dekat edit content. Tambah sahaja. Berapa banyak nak tambah pun boleh. For this purpose saya buat lima ni saja, okey. Okey dan Dan macam mana caranya untuk share kepada anak murid? Senang saja macam biasa pergi ke share, pergi ke my students dan klik-klik uh, apa yang patut. Tak copy link ni bagi je kat anak murid. Okey so for us teachers boleh pergi dekat my result. Result dia dekat bawah sekali lah. Okay, so ini result for subjects yang kita buat tadi. Kita boleh tengok summary, number of student yang attempt, average score, top score, siapa yang dapat nombor satu. And then fastest, uh, ini sebab saya seorang je tadi kan try. Sini leaderboard dia lah. And then sini kita boleh tengok uh, result by question which is very very important. Best kan? Uh, itu baru satu. Jom kita tengok yang lain pula. Apa lagi kita nak tengok? Okay, I'm going to show you a quick ones with other templates. Let's just go to quiz. Quiz ni sangat mudah. Macam biasa. Quiz apa nak? Past tense. I saw him last night. I see him. I saw him. I saw him. I seen him. Contoh ABCD. Add a question. Minimum one question, maximum hundred questions. He, the ball. Just now. Kick. Kicks. Kick. Kicking. Okay, then you have to choose at least one correct answer. Saw and also kicked. Okay, then. Sama juga. Uh, boleh pilih team. Ha, lebih banyak team dekat sini. Boleh explore. Contohnya neon. Start. Okay, katakanlah kita dah uh, okay dengan soalan-soalan kita. Macam biasa, share sahaja. Okay, next. Apa lagi kita nak tengok? Um, kita nak tengok group sort. Group sort ni ialah kita nak sort lah. Okay. Veggie, table or fruits. Group 1, namakan. Vegetable. Group 2, nama dia fruits. Okay. So, kita just namakan. Uh, carrot, you yeah, vegetable. Carrot, brokoli. Ya, kerja macam tu. Um, apa lagi ya? Kasih gila ni. Okay, fruits lah. Apple. And then, banana. Banana. And tambah lagi sikit. Orange. And, apa lagi? Cabbage. Okay. So, done. Macam mana murid-murid akan dapat? Uh, boleh pilih juga yang lain-lain. Tak apa. Kita tunjuk dulu. Ah, murid perlu drag and drop. Narik kan? Submit answer. Murid-murid akan dapat macam tu lah. So, cikgu-cikgu macam biasa lah. Share. Okay. Jom kita tengok lain pula. Template lain pula. Template apa lagi kita nak tengok. Uh, unjumble. Unjumble pun sangat menarik. Simple sentence. Okay. Kita buat ayat yang lengkap. Contohnya, I like. Okay. Kita buat, buat semua pesan boleh. I like to eat fried chicken. She goes to the bookshop. My father is washing his car. Okay, pergi dan dan apa yang murid akan dapat ialah something like this. Ha, you have to move it. So I mestilah di hadapan. Ha, dia terus stand the right. I like to eat fried chicken. Perfect. And then the to bookshop goes she. Macam mana? She, ah, dia boleh tukar-tukar. So, faham eh? Senang saja. Next, apa lagi kita nak tengok? Okay, last lah. Last, yang lain cikgu-cikgu boleh explore ya. Eh? Okay, missing word. Animal. Oh tak, kita buat ayat penuh. The eagle has a has good eyesight. Okay, so yang mana perkataan kita nak hilangkan? Eagle. Okay, add eagle. Okay, next. The... Tiger is a fierce animal. Okay, kita nak buang tiger. Okay, add tiger. And then incorrect words yang kita nak buat. Contohnya kita buat monkey. Tambah lagi. 
apa lagi ostrich okey ini pula kita tukar um, cat and dog so macam ni dia akan keluar pergi dan dia akan keluar macam ini uh, so they have to fill in the missing word eagle ke ostrich ke monkey ke Alright, so macam biasa share. I hope all of you get something based on my sharing today. Uh, apa yang penting, pergi sahaja ke wordwall.net and then try the basic or the free one, the free version and explore them by yourself. Kalau interested, you go for the 10 ringgit plan. We have come to the end of the session. Uh, saya harap uh, para guru dapat sedikit sebanyak daripada sharing saya hari ini untuk spice up our teaching and learning online supaya murid-murid lebih bersemangat dan kita sendiri akan lebih bersemangat uh, that is all for now um, if you like this kind of videos you can always you can always subscribe to my channel and anything anything you want me to share with you please comment in the comment section below so that I can read and I can I can assist you in a way or another okay that is all for now i hope i see you in my next video assalamualaikum and goodbye